everybody. I got a lot of requests on how to do my galvanized technique on things. So today I'm gonna to show you how, because I'm sure we all have like these plastic buckets around the house and they're kind of an eyesore. So why not let them look a little better? So I start the process by sandpapering the plastic just to give something for the spray paint to stick to, because if you don't do it, the spray paint will chip and come up. Okay, now we're all scratched up and we're ready for paint. Um, this is the paint that I bought. Um, personally, I bought it because it was on sale. <laughs> um, but this is what we're going to go with. It's called Gloss Smoke Gray um, from Crinolon. So we're going to be working with this today. I'm sure there's other paints out there, um, like Rust-Oleum, that you can use. But this was on sale, so I picked it up. First, we're going to start off with spray painting the outside of the bucket and then we'll move on to the inside of it. It'll take about 20 minutes for the paint to dry. Okay, so now we're going to go in with this silver metallic paint on the bucket. All I did was cut a strip of a um, dish sponge and I'm just going to dab it into the, um, the paint and I'm going to just touch it. I don't even want to um, press too hard and you want to be careful not to smear at all. All you're going to do is dab it on. That's all you're looking for is just a dab. So you're going to dab on the silver metallic paint. And then once this is all on, I will check back in. The silver paint sponged on. It's still wet. And that's how I want it because it blends better when it is. So all I'm doing now is I'm going in with black paint. Um, and I'm just going to do the same thing and dab it on. Now that the black is sponge painted on, I'm going to go in again with the silver. And my paint is still wet. Now I'm just going to go in with the Rust-Oleum Semi-Clear Gloss. Is that what it is? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to go in with that and spray it just to seal in the paint. Now our clear coat is done drying and here's our finished product. I think it's a pretty good dupe for a galvanized bucket. I don't think anyone would ever know. And if you like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. Until next time, see you again.